Okay, where are we? We're at Panther Creek again. We're gonna go down the uh, old wagon trail. Or the wagon trail, one of the two, whatever you want to call it. I'll look at the map and get there. We are on part of the horse connector. There's a lot of horse prints here. They put a new bridge in. Panther Creek. This is how the park got its name because of the creek that runs through it. Beautiful. Beautiful Panther Creek. It's my local state park. They do a good job providing a wonderful place to enjoy nature. It's late enough in the afternoon. I probably will not see deer this time of day. So this may be one of my deerless videos. Okay, let's have a look. That's part of uh, Let me get it right. Let me get it right. I won't be lying. Panther Path. Panther Path comes out to here. Enfo Kiosh. You can get a map, a black and white printout map, from the uh, Info Center. Where is the Info Center? Right there. That's part of the course connector trail across the bridge to uh, Hunt Knob. And... Uh, Maple Arch, Maple Arch, to my knowledge, is still closed, down trees. That's the connector trail from the uh, parking area for mountain bikes and horse trailers. But we're going to go down this one here. This is the... Uh, Wagon road. I see a lot of horse hoofs here. You aren't supposed to be on this with a horse. It's a bike trail. Bike hiking. Looking to see what kind of flowers are starting to bloom. Beautiful. It's just peaceful here. It's Thursday. As you all know, I seldom hike weekends.
my intent is to go all the way around what comes back out at uh, the path out of the road along the side of the park take that path back to the main opening where you can see the info center and part of the disc golf course and I'll decide from there how to get back to my vehicle either do an in and out or make some sort of a loop up through the uh, disc golf course then across the playground and down One of the things we're looking for is once we get to a, a connector point where you can jump up to uh, Blackburn uh, observation deck area that uh, I look for that tree sticking up out of the water. We've had rain last week about inch and a quarter, inch and a half. We've got a lot of rain. So, it may be, Lake may, may be up a ways. Since we was on a hunt knob a week or so ago, look at this. Let's stop. I do a real quick 180, I'm sorry. We just came up there. Creek out in the timber. That's the kind of timber you might see deer roaming in. Nature provided a uh, bridge across the water. I'm too old to try to go across that walking. I'd end up falling. I've done that before, so being smart. And the water's fairly deep there. The water's still a little murky from uh, the rain, the rains we had. And, uh, I'd taken everything on my backpack except my uh, first aid stuff, my trail kit, and other stuff because I was hiking the Smokies and I was on going to be on existing trails that there's no problem with. And then I get down here and remember that I didn't throw my trail kit in, and my hiking boots are at home. I took them out too. I took my sweetie Gina down to downtown Gatlinburg to go up to the uh, Space Needle. Let's go down here. This is a water washed off trail from the rains. Have a look. See how things are going. And uh, we went to uh, the Space Needle. She, she doesn't like heights. I'm going to tell you that. She doesn't like heights. But she enjoyed that. She wants to go back. Okay, I'm seeing something. Let me get it right. Right over there. There's a uh, small connector off of the where the hunt knob trailhead starts. And you come down to the uh, springs. can't remember the name because uh, the picnic area up the road is named after the family, Smallman, Smallman Springs. There's so much water coming still that this part of uh, the embankment can't hold it all. It's still running over the embankment. Awesome sauce. Beautiful today. 
I know I say that every time I'm out on a hike, but it is beautiful. And we were basically, so you know, we were killing time downtown Gatlinburg running around until it got dark enough to go to the island to watch the water light sound show. Fabulous. You'll never see it on YouTube from me because all the music is copyrighted, owned by somebody. They want you to pay royalties for using their music. And without the music, the light water show is worthless. I could put free music on, but it won't match the water show. Just so you know. I'm not complaining, just letting you know. The facts of life with YouTube and somebody that owns their music. Well, you know, if I own the music, I want paid for it too, so there we go. So let's be realistic about everything. It's how life is supposed to be. Realistic. Nice little water cut. I just seen something. I've been on this trail three or four times. Look at that tree. Base of that tree. And it has the little minute branches on it so it's not a snag but it's making a way finding a way to survive that's how things are in nature they make a way to survive The interesting thing about this time of the year is you get to see back into the woods a ways. You get to see stuff that you normally don't get to see during the summer, late spring, summer, late fall, early fall, because everything's all leafed out. Let's go down here. I think on the Hunt Knob Trail, I've seen a biker come down through here. So I think it's interesting to go have a look. I've never been down this way, so let's go have a look, see. Like I said earlier, I left all my stuff at home, my trail kit and my hiking shoes. So I've got my walking shoes on. They're not so good to my hiking shoes I've had these walking shoes for like five years and they're getting a little thin yep go across the street across the creek from Smallman's well, no, it's not up that far yet Okay, we've had enough rain though. This may be a mucky muck. No horses. Hmm. Make sure I'm careful where I'm walking. Yeah, there's the Smallman Spring over there. It was over there on the uh, Hunt Knob Trail, if you all remember. Those of you have seen the trail, seen the video. Pretty good. Big sinkhole over in there. Nature. When you build a dam, dam up the water, the water kills a lot of stuff. They drown. We'll try.
get down to the cascade here. Got to be careful because at any point, this could be a muck hole. I could be up to my knees and muck, and I won't be able to get out of here without some assistance from a park ranger or somebody. Yeah, we're during the summer, we're in the lake water right now. Up there is Hunt Knob. There we go. One of the little hidden gems of Panther Creek State Park. You only see it in the during the winter drawdown. Let's do a little turnabout. Now, it's in, the, it's in the 70s out. I gotta be careful where I'm walking now. Again. It's warm enough for the snakes to be coming out. So be careful where you're walking. Watch out for rattlesnakes, copperheads, leprechauns, trolls, chicks, tiggers. Horse droppings, stuff like that. Let's do one more little turn. Now the trail goes way up in there. Connect your trail to get you the hunt knob. You can see the water sparkling down there. So let's work our way back up to the main trail where we were. And we're back up on the trail. That once was a very vibrant tree. And it came to the end of its life and then it fell over and it went from a living tree to a snag to now it's a nurse, nurse log. Providing nourishment for life. Nature doesn't waste anything. I keep forgetting that I can touch the uh, A radical button and take pictures with this. Sometimes I'm just goofy. Okay, 
I reached that point. Hang on. Forgot to turn my tracker watch on. See what it does for my hiking, walking. It doesn't offer hiking, it offers walking. I think maybe my dad had some input in uh, the settings because my dad never hiked a day in his life, he, but he always went for a walk in the woods. Hey, Terry, you want to go for a walk in the woods? We were down at my grandpa's. Yep, never passed up the opportunity to go for a walk in the woods with my dad. Never passed it up. Now my daddy can't be with me. Every video, every video I'm on that I record is from my wife, sweet wife Gina, in remembrance of my dad who taught me this. Beautiful rock structure just sticking out. We're coming up on the connector trail, so we're getting ready to go down to the water. Okay, we're going to go down a side path down to the lake to see what it looks like. And where we're at, we're on the old wagon trail. See the sign? Disc golfers up in there. You can go up that trail. It'll take you to the observatory. Ah, Blackburn. There's a sign up in there. That helps you get up there now you have to be careful because there's two trails up there there's the go just golf trail from goal to key and there's the trail to the observation deck so watch your arrows and here we go cut all that cut some of that out there got the sign you come to the sign i'm turning left because it's easy we came up that way from the Spoon Recreation Area. We're going down here. The water's washed out the leaves. We've got to step across that down tree down to the lake. Now, it's that time of the year. It's in, it's, it's in the lower 70s. That may be warm enough for snakes to be out, so just be aware of where you're walking. Careful going across logs. If they're just right, there could be a snake on the other side sunning itself. If you're on the shady side of the log, be careful stepping over. Thank you, William, Smoky Mountain hiker, for that lesson. If it's big enough, you step up on the log, and then you step out away from it as you're coming down. You never step down. You never step down directly behind the log. You wouldn't know there's a tr there's a road trail up there. Down in here, you would not know that. I'm gonna step around this. Easier to walk on the leaves than it is to step around the logs. And the lake isn't up. And I did not spray myself for insects. Oh, yeah. 
Winter's been too long. I don't remember. <laughs> so remember what to do. Okay. I'm going to bypass the log. Go down and around. We're just about there. Okay. There's the tree. Right there. That one, the lake is up. And the water's dead still. It reflects itself onto the water right down here to its level. There's a picture at the end of the, every one of the, uh, Twenty twenty two TNG uh, header ending header tail ending tail I use those terms that shows this tree. It's uh three or four from the end. I'm trying to hunt knob trails right there. I'm trying to figure out where I came out maybe a little bit I think I came out over in that area over in that area and we've seen deer the four deer go across so we were way close to seeing this there's no um, remarkable structure over there for me to pick out where I was. But maybe I can look at the video and get a look. Looky, looky, looky. There's a kayaker down there. A couple kayakers. Well, let's walk around a little bit farther down here. Let's see what we can find. You just be kind of careful, that's all. I don't know if there's a trail back up to the main trail from here. I don't know. There's the main body of the lake. Yeah, I think I came out right about there. Right about in there. Let's go back. Let's go back to the main trail. I'm far enough off. I, I know how to get back. Let me, let me show you something I just seen. Seen it and I kind of dismissed it. Now I'm going to go back for it. See the green leaves? There's a name for those. Trout lilies. And yes, we're on that side of the lake where the trout lily trail is. You can take uh, Piney Cove or Deer Run. It could take you to the boat ramp where you can go down Trout Little Trail. Not going to happen today. It's too much. I'm If you're watching where I was walking, I didn't see that little branchy thing hanging down.
And we're back on the main trail. I'm gonna tell you, if I had a rock to sit on, I would do it. That may not seem like very much elevation from down there to up here, but 71 was a monster. I'm gonna cut this one short. I'm gonna go up to the Blackburn back to Blackburn across and down there's enough people walking some of these trails where the leaves are have been crushed packed down from the walk, from the various walkers, hikers. Trail's easy to see. If I can set this down and get me a drink. There we go. Get me an Nogwood drink, so just bear with me a bit. Okay. Down there was the old wagon road. This is part of the connector trail, the horse connector trail. Gets you from the parking lot to the, the two horse trails. Now this is another, we've been on a connector trail since the wagon trail. It will jump you up to the horse trail. If you're a hiker, you can you, you can go up, go on those horses. You can go on the connector. You can go on the connect, horse connector, but not the connector neck connector. Okay, now now we're at the crossroads. Right there. You turn, and you're going up Blackburn. If you go that way, you're going to the next T for the disc golf. Watch your arrows. There's enough arrows on the trail at the turns to give you information. See that one is yellow. With a black arrow, it's horse. If it was red with a black arrow, it's bike. White with a black arrow is hiking. You can hike white, red, and yellow. You can bike on white and red. You can ride your horses on yellow, and I can hike on yellow. Just the realities of it, that's all. You can hike any trail. I've even hiked the disc golf courses here. If you got to do. those of you that are members of TNG, subscribe to us. You know that from watching our videos. If you're new here, subscribe, please. Encourage me in my well doing for my sweet Gina. If you watch some of our other videos, you know she uses a 
wheelchair power chair out of house. She has a walker in house. She can't come out here, so I have video, and that's the prime. Your wonderful subscribers, your secondary, but not really. I do enjoy your comments. If there's something you see that I've said, name something incorrectly, you know, feel free to tell me. And I'll put a, uh, a note down in the uh, remarks that uh, I made a mistake. Just remember, it doesn't matter which one I'm on. Female 57 is the original. 2020. Now 2020, we changed to TNG, the ampersand, the, the uh, abbreviated and symbol. It's, a, it's called an ampersand. I'm a sign guy. I know that stuff. And uh, I have my channel man in orange I'm gonna say something I fully understand my abilities to get into trouble I fully understand my abilities to do I have a lot of trust in me my wife has a lot of trust in me I have basically no trust in you not doing it. Now, I'm not a brain surgeon. I don't do that. You should never have any trust in me as a brain surgeon. I understand that. Don't come on and tell me you wouldn't do something. Come on and, and help me do better for my sweetie Gina. Now we're on the uh, road from the tennis court, parking lot, playground, pool that they're never opening again to uh, Blackburn Observatory. Not a very long trail, but it's a nice trail. When you get to the observatory, you're basically overlooking uh, two disc golf course runs. One of them is 10 from the, uh, you start in the back nine. I don't remember, 10, 11, 12, 13 or 14. Coming out the side of it to the uh, left of it is just as you're standing in the look at uh, observatory. If you get there, you want a different route back. Find uh, the first one you come to. It goes out to the same opening and just look a little bit to your left and follow it down to the number 10 T. And you step out at the main uh, start point and you look across and there's the parking lot for the playground. Very nice. And, you know, we've come to that point. We have come to that point. You know, I'm going to do it. I always do it. I always do it. We're coming up to the trailhead. Never leave the car. Start on the trailhead without a map. Give it to the info center. Go in the parking lot as you look towards the info center. If you look to the right, there's a little kiosk. That's where the map, the quick, easy maps are. Get one.